Thank you for tuning in to Soul Water Saturday, where your soul never thirsts. My name is Beauty and Bars, and I am back. Hello, did y'all miss me? Y'all thought I was done, huh? Nope, I ain't done. I just took two weeks off, and I'm back, and better than ever, and I'm ready to talk to y'all. Okay, so I took two weeks off because a sister just wanted a break. Is it wrong to take a break? Is it called inconsistency because I wanted a break? No, I am allowed to take a break. Y'all take a break at work and I take a break from Soul Water Saturday sometimes. Just a little two-week vacay. Sometimes I may go on vacays, but trust and believe Beauty and Bars is not done. On this week's edition of Soul Water Saturdays, I'm going to share a poem with you. But first, let me give y'all a little background on this poem. So you know how you growing up, right? And you young and you dumb, whatever. <laughs> and you think you in love with somebody. Oh my gosh. Like, let me tell y'all. When I was young and in middle school, I thought I was in love with somebody like every week. I'm so serious. I did not know what love was. I had some little feeling, you know, liking a boy. And every week I was like, <laughs> but I love him. Ciao you was not in love that was some serious puppy like okay so by the poetry that i used to write you would have think that a sister was really in love like i was like in uh with a poem i'm gonna share with y'all i think i wrote that poem when i was like in the fifth grade and it was a very mature poem it sounded like i was really loving on somebody when i needed to be loving on the lord but i looked in my buried poetry my poetry vault and I came across this wonderful book of poems. I'm just gonna share one with y'all this time, but I'll share another one with y'all another time. But I came across this wonderful book of poetry and it was real mature. Like I was talking like I was really in love with somebody, like I was going to go marry somebody the next day. And I'm telling y'all, I was in like the fifth grade when I wrote these poems. So brace yourself because this sounded like I could have been in high school writing this poem. Before I go into this wonderful poem that I'm going to share with y'all, what's up, y'all? What y'all been doing? Like, it's been two weeks since I talked to y'all. What have y'all been up to? I know y'all miss seeing my face. It's okay. You ain't even got to admit to it. I know that you miss seeing my face. And I got some exciting news to share. What have Beauty and Bars been up to? I'm going to let you know right now. So, a while ago, I believe 2019, I had the idea, I had the vision of my clothing line called Kingdom Creations, and I was supposed to bring it out then, but, you know, stuff happened and it didn't come out when it was supposed to come out, you know, but now I actually have my shirts made, I have my press, I'm ready to make some more shirts, I'm just getting my website together, and once I get my website together, I'm about to go full force with Kingdom Creations, and I'm really about to start pushing this clothing line. So I am excited because this is something for the Johnson family, for the Johnson household. This is something that my kids could grow with. And yes, I know that it takes time. I know that it takes consistency and effort when it comes to, you know, a clothing line and launching and all of that. I already know this, but I know that God has my back because this is a vision that was given to me. Therefore, I know that God is backing it up. Y'all, I've been busy and I'm in school too. So I've been busy. I haven't just been sitting on my butt doing nothing. I have been productive and I should be done with Key New Creations website in the next week or two. I have to do some finishing touches to it. I need a few more models to model the shirts. And then I also need to learn how to use my press, which I haven't even learned how to do yet. But I cannot wait to just use it and you know, maybe screw up a few shirts, but it's all going to be worth it in the end because I am about to bring it. So it's exciting because I have Kingdom Creations and I have Kingdom Tears and soon I'm going to mash them both together and I'm going to have one website. Right now I have two websites. I have the Kingdom Tears website and I have the Kingdom Creations website, but soon enough I'm going to combine the two so that I could just be operating one website because two is a little bit of a doozy. Well, enough of that, let's get to some fantabulous poetry. So the poem that I will be sharing is called, What is Love? Hmm. Look at this. 
That old school stuff. What is love? Just remember, I was in the fifth grade when I wrote this. Keep that in mind when y'all hear this poem. What is love? A while ago, this question was new to me, but I'm very wise on it now, as you can see. My question was, what is love? But now I have fallen in love. Love can be good. Love can be bad. It can make you happy, sad, or make you feel bad. It can last forever. It can last a while. It can make you frown, feel down, or smile. It can be a puzzle. It can be played with like a game. It can make you feel grateful, feel shame, or cause you pain. Is it like a riddle waiting to be solved? If you find the right person, love can be a ball. Be careful who you love. Make sure that they're the one. Make sure that they love you too before you decide loving him will be fun. Your choice may be wrong, so be careful whom you choose. They could cause you trouble or you to become confused. Love is a beautiful thing. I hope that for you it works out. But this is not all, but some of what love is all about. Now I know the vocabulary on that poem wasn't like big, but y'all can't tell me that that poem did not sound mature. That sounded like far more than a fifth grader if you ask me. So that just lets y'all know that I've been a poet for a long, long time. First poem that I wrote, I was in first grade and I've loved poetry ever since. So poetry is just something that's in me. Poetry is me. I am poetry, period. And as young as I was, obviously I was in love with somebody. That little kid love, you know that love to have you singing them love songs and crying know you only in the fifth grade. Just that love to have you up all night, excited and can't wait to put on your little clothes and go see that little boy or girl the next day. That love that you can't even sleep at night cause you thinking about waking up and seeing that little boy or girl and holding their hand on the playground. That was that love. Okay, I was like, Nothing really matters. I don't really care. Why nobody tell me? Cause I'm gonna be here. It's a matter of extreme importance. My first teenage love affair. Actually, it was my first, not even teenage. See, I was about to say it again. My first fifth grade love affair. I know, funny, huh? But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week edition of Soul Water Saturday. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed kicking it with me. I hope y'all enjoyed having fun, made me laughing at my poetry, laughing at me, whatever. But I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves because I definitely enjoyed mine. Beauty and Bars will continue to bring the video, bring the content, bring the poetry. But thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the love. Thank y'all for everything that, that y'all do to support my vision, to support Kingdom Tears, Kingdom Creations, just to support the kingdom all around. But I love you all. I will see y'all next time. Continue, please, to like, to share, to subscribe. Continue to help me to reach my vision to blow Soul Water Saturdays up and save the world one soul at a time. I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all soon. I know that you love me, so I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Say but not soft, you get that understood. Uh. God got me doing things I never would. I